The Oculus Quest 3S is a beautiful headset, but there are downsides to it. One of them being quality. Yes, some games look good, but in general, the Oculus comes with a lot of aliasing and blur. Now, fixing Oculus native games will be a separate video, but in this video, I want to focus more into PC VR or Oculus Link. As you can see in Red Matter, the quality difference between before and after my fixes is insanely noticeable. These fixes even require using a hidden tool built into the meta app but without further ado let me show you how to fix this for yourself now for this fix it will require a lot of testing this will cause a lot of lag if done wrong so to avoid any mishaps gradually increase your settings until you meet a nice point between acceptable performance and enough quality for your eyes now for this you will need the MetaQuest link app on your PC and that's it now of course this isn't the hidden app so let me show you where that is so now all you want to do is you want to go to your file explorer and then go to program files and then scroll down until you find oculus then once that's done go to support and then oculus diagnostics and then you should see oculus debug tool now once that's open this window will come up and that's kind of why i called it secret because to be honest it feels like you're not supposed to find this but as you will see here there's a lot of different things and there's actually only a few things you should mess with to fix your quality issues. So to start off, the main things would be your PPD, so your pixels per display pixel override. So you wanna keep this in mind. Then if we go down a little bit, you can also look at asynchronous space warp. This is more for performance. So you may want to do a little bit of research on this before you control this. And then you can go down your distortion curvature. You do also wanna keep your mind on this. And then last but not least, you do want to go to your encode bit rate and this is another one that you want to keep your mind on and you could also use the link sharpening and that could also help too let's first start off with how you want to test this so the reason why i say you need to do a lot of testing is because you need to go into a game plenty of times restart and sometimes you might crank your settings up too high and run into issues so go to the metaquest link app and then go to your headset then find graphics preferences then you'll see that I already have my tested preferences here this is after me doing all of the testing and this is what I found that my refresh rate is best at 72 Hertz and then render resolution for me is best at 1.3 X which gives me the best sharpness while also not downgrading my performance too much so the reason why I stuck with 72 Hertz is because I found that having it at 90 hertz or 120 hertz caused audio lag so it was stuttering a lot which i didn't know what that was and thought I did a little bit of research and i found that just having a refresh rate too high can cause that now you don't want to touch anything here first i won't be opening a game and testing it while the game is open and recording because i'm sure my obs will not like that but what you want to do is you want to open any game i would suggest that you try a game that is visually stunning so you can actually see the difference in quality but the main thing you want to focus on is pixels per display pixel override but before we get into that let me just show you my settings that i suggest that you use in this now everything up here will not save so for instance if i was to change my ppd to something once you restart the MetaQuest Link app or your PC, it will not keep this, but everything else will save. So for instance, the Oculus Link settings will save. So as you can see, I already have the distortion curvature already at low and the encode bit rate already at 500. So the way you want to do this is if you are doing a wired connection, which I would suggest that you do that for the Oculus Link, you should do a wired connection and then you should go into the Oculus Debug tool and set your encode bit rate to 500. Then you want to change the distortion curvature, which will, as you can see here, the higher the curvature gives more density at the center. Now, I don't really know much about the distortion curvature, to be honest, but I did see that setting it to low helps it. So I set it to low. And last but not least, I've seen that link sharpening at normal is probably your best bet, but you can test with all of these things. I found that these settings are the best. Now let's focus on the pixels per display pixel override. Now, all this does is as you can see here, you see the render resolution, 
I have it at 1.3 X because that is what I found was the best, but you may have that completely different and maybe your refresh rate might even be higher. This really depends on how powerful your PC is. In the last video, I actually mentioned that your refresh rate and your render resolution really depends on your PC and that is very true. So normally you would want to have it at recommended for both and that is the way you actually want to test it. So you want to keep it at automatic recommended or you can set the render resolution to 1.0x which is just your native oculus re render resolution and then set your refresh rate to 72 hertz and then what you want to do from there is you want to go into a game and then you can actually change this at runtime so as you're playing you can crank up your pixels per display pixel override and so you can for instance change this to 1.5 and then you will be able to visually see a difference in quality now the only bad part about this which is why you don't want to set this to 1.5 if your pc isn't good enough is because your performance will definitely decrease if 1.5 is too high of a render resolution for you so what you want to do is you will normally be at 1.0 but the way to test the difference between performance is to just to change this back to zero to see what it looks like with your native render resolution and then changing it to your custom one so for instance 1.3 then it will show what it will look like with 1.3 now for me if i was to change this to 1.3 there wouldn't be a difference and for me while testing it i noticed that the render resolution being at 1.5 really didn't have much of a visual difference with 1.3 so i just chose to go with 1.3 because it gave me more performance while 1.5 gave me less performance but didn't really look any different so all you want to do is you want to start this out at zero you want to slowly crank it up one by one until you eventually find one that is best for performance and quality and slowly but surely you'll stop seeing aliasing and everything will start looking a lot sharper which is honestly insane now last but not least after the testing phase you'll simply set the ppd from the debug tool that worked for you in the metalink app graphics preferences doing this is literally the only way your tested render resolution will be saved after this that's it since you tested the performance you shouldn't run into any performance issues in other games and for the people actually still watching let me give you one big tip do not use steam vr if you don't have to just run the game while you're using oculus link and the game should run using OpenXR if supported. This saved me a lot of FPS.